Okay, friends, once your loom is warped, you're gonna get ready to weave. You're gonna find some string. I'm gonna use green, but you can use any colors you want. And I'm just gonna take my string and I'm gonna go over, under, over, under, over, under, over, under, over, under. And then I'm gonna pull it through. And I'm gonna keep pulling until there's just a little bit of string left. I don't wanna pull it all the way through because then I'd have to redo it. Then on the other side, I'm gonna do the same thing. Over, under, over, under, over, under, over, under, over, under. And I'm gonna pull my string through. And I'm just gonna pull it down and I wanna pull it pretty tight, but not too tight. I'm gonna take my string on the other side and I'm gonna keep going over, under, over, under, over, under, over, under, over, under, pull it through. All right, there we go. Does this look like I've pulled it enough? Not really, I don't wanna have any big loops like this. So I'm just gonna keep gently pulling like that. Just when they're just touching. Then I can use my fingers and kind of scoot it down. And I don't wanna to pull too tight. See how my tree branches are kind of coming together right here? And that's gonna make it really hard to weave. So you wanna stay kind of gentle. Not too tight, not too loose. And you're gonna remember to always go the same way. So let me see, let's go. Under, over, under, over, under, over, under, over, under, over. Let me pull this one through. Be careful not to get it stuck on the plate. Uh-oh, everything is unraveling. Hmm, I wonder what caused that to happen. I think it might have been because I started under instead of over. If I'm starting over, I need to go over under every time. Let's see how this one works. There we go, much better. I'm just gonna kind of scoot it down and now I'm just gonna keep on weaving.